Hello, this is Lungile Mtonyana. I am working for Walter Sulu University in the Center for Learning and Teaching Development Department uh, under Teaching and Learning with Technologies Unit. I am working there as an educational technologist. We are responsible for promoting teaching and learning with technologies. So today I will be teaching you on how to use WiseUp, which is the learning management system that we are using at Walter Sisulu University. As you can see there on the screen, there is a URL to access WiseUp, which is http full column double forward slash wiseup.wusu dot ac dot za uh, briefly what is wise up wise up is an online learning management tool used by walter sisoli university which offers a robust set of tools functions and features that enhance learning and teaching which are a core business of this institution wise up may be used as a supplement for the on-campus courses or it may be the point of access to your online courses. Uh, how to access WiseUp? Uh, WiseUp can be accessed in many ways. Okay, let me show you the first one. The first one, you just uh, visit the WSU website, which is www.wsu.ac.za. And then when you are on the home page, you need to scroll down. When you are scrolling down, you will see uh, Connect Me. And then there are four buttons under Connect Me tab. So you just click on Wise Up and then it will take you straight to the Wise Up home page. And the second one is to just you just go to the URL, you type that http wiseup.wusu.ac.za and then it will take you straight to the Wise Up login page. On the login page, you need to provide your student number and your password. And then your student and your username is your student number. Okay. And then you need to type your password. By default, your password is your is the barcode of your student card. So you need to type it here on the password field. After you have typed your, your username and your password, you need to click on this button, log in, so that you can be able to log in on the system. Now we are on the WiseUp home page. The student here has managed to log in. Okay, on this window, up there you will see your name and your surname. And then you will have two tabs, WiseUp Home and Courses. And then you will have the Tools window my announcements window and my courses now uh, the first thing that i want to show you is to change the password maybe if you want to change your password for security reasons here under the tools window there is this link personal information so you need to click here on personal information if you want to change your password and then after I have clicked on personal information, uh, to start typing your new password, you need to click on change password. And then on this field, you will type your new password. Below, you verify. Here, you must make sure that you type the same password. Otherwise, when you submit, you will get an error message. So you need to make sure that you type same password and then when you are done you click here on submit 
Okay. Now, after you have successfully changed your password, you'll get a message that says success password edited. Okay, now I want us to move on and click on this tab courses. Once you click on that tab courses, you will see the list of all the courses that we are enrolled to. For example, in this case, we have got an academic literacy course but it has got no instructor as you can see there then there's academic advisory for queenstown and the instructor is ramak ketsel then there is a computer literacy one the instructor is lungulen danyana so you can see all those courses those that have got no instructor it will be indicated there now i want us to open the computer literacy one course which I believe that there is material that has been uploaded so that you can see how to work on a particular course. Let's open Computer Literacy 1. Now after we have clicked on Computer Literacy 1, there is this area on your left hand side. We we'll call this area a course menu and then there is this area we we'll call it a course window. When you click a button on the course menu then what, whatever information that is under that button it will appear here on the course window for example let's click on announcements when you click on announcements the information under announcements will appear here on the course window there is an announcement here that has been uploaded by the instructor or the lecturer of the course uh, the subject of this announcement is test one date as you can see the, the subject is always bold see test one date uh, the announcement has been posted on friday 25th august 2017 at 10:49 a.m when you're going to your far right you will see who has posted the announcement? The announcement has been posted by Lungu Danyana, posted to Computer Literacy Course. Announcement read as follows. Good morning, student. This is to inform you that your next test will be on the 4th of September 2017 at C25 Lab at 9 a.m. Please make sure that you read all Module 1 notes. Thank you. So that is the, an announcement that has been posted by the instructor or the lecturer. So when you want to view the announcements for a particular course, you click on announcements on the course menu. Okay, on the course menu, the next button that I want us to look at is the lecturer details button. When you click here on lecturer details, the lecturer details will pop up on the course window. There, under lecturer details, you will find the name and the surname of the lecturer. The email address, which in this case is lmdanyana at wsu.ac.za. The work phone number. Here it's 0807-6868. And another thing that you'll find here on lecturer details is the office location where you can find your lecturer. In this case, the name of the location is Masbulele site, office D20. Under lecturer details, you'll also find the office hours. Here, it's 8 up to 16.30, so which means that the lecturer is available in the office from 8 a.m. till 16.30. And then some lecturers will also post some notes for their students. Here it says, if you don't find me in my office, please check me at C25 Computer Lab or D18 Computer Lab. And then on the top right corner, you will see the picture of the lecturer. So yeah, that's all about uh, the lecturer details. Thank you. The next uh, video will be on how to download lecture notes.